we're back with Quick Bites with Sir Anthony. And today, Anthony, we had a question through the week about if we can, if you can t tell us about the various covenants we find in the Bible and uh, what exactly do they mean when it comes to God and his relationship with us? Well, yes, there are various covenants. The covenant made with Noah was that the word would, world would never be flooded again. The rainbow is a symbol of that, to remind us that God is not going to flood the earth as he did. So that covenant is not relevant to us precisely. And certainly the old covenant, Mosaic covenant, under the law of Moses, is not for us today, in the letter, that is. The Abrahamic covenant, however, is very much related to the new covenant. The new covenant, or renewed covenant, if you like, doesn't matter. It's new and renewed, both things, but it's certainly new. It's not the same as the old. And the new certainly involves the Abrahamic covenant of the land, the land promise made to Abraham. Act 7 is the classic text there, that Abraham was promised the land, but he never got a square yard of it. It therefore remains the promise of the kingdom of God in the new, the kingdom promise given by Jesus in the gospel of the kingdom, and the land promise are the same thing. Blessed are the meek, they're going to inherit the land. We're so puzzled and perplexed, I would say, by the constant reference to heaven as the goal of the Christians. No, the goal of the new covenant is to inherit the land and the earth and to dwell in it, Psalm 37. Daniel 7 then, which looks forward to the new covenant time, although it is given at a time before the new covenant was written, of course, but it predicts that in Daniel 7, the whole of the kingdoms under the whole heaven will be given to the saints and they will rule and every nation will have to obey the saints. That's the way 727 is properly translated. So the sum total of what I'm trying to say is this, that we are under the new covenant, the renewed covenant now. It has certainly things in common with the stipulations of the old. We're not supposed to commit adultery. In fact, not only must we not do that, we mustn't have continued lustful thoughts Killing is the standard of the letter, but hating is the higher standard of the new. Divorce, for whatever reason <coughs> that was, whatever that reason that was given under Moses, is no longer binding, no longer permissible, Jesus said. We're going back to the Genesis account there in terms of divorce. So Jesus changes some of the stipulations in the Mosaic Covenant. Others he reinforces at a higher standard. So the best way of saying it is this. We are under the new covenant in the spirit of the law. The Sabbath, for instance, as a literal day, along with the holy days and the new moons, which are one single trio, are not binding in the new covenant. They've been replaced by Messiah, who is our Passover. So we should be keeping the feast, not once a year, but all the time, as Paul himself says in 1 Corinthians 5. I don't think this is very difficult, but um, there's a tendency for people to sweep away too much or too little. In other words, they say, oh, well, all of these texts in the Old Testament are binding upon us. We must keep the Sabbath, keep the holy days, keep the new moons, they seem to forget that one, or keep the food laws. And Paul is clearly against keeping the food laws. Let me tell you, he says, as a Jew and a Christian in Romans 14, 14 to 20, I am a Paul, I Paul rather, I'm a Jew, I'm a Christian, and I don't think that the food laws of Leviticus 11 count for anything. Unless you think they're important, then you'll have your conscience will have to work uh, in, in favor of believing what you think is right or wrong. But Paul doesn't care about the food laws, clearly. He doesn't think that the Sabbath and the holy days are anything but a shadow now replaced by Messiah, who is the fulfilling of that shadow preliminary. Don't need the shadow when you've got the reality. So I hope that will uh, clarify some of the thinking that we are trying to get over in terms of the covenants.